Greetings viewers, we'll be looking at system of units, which is actually the starting point in physics. Many students of physics are always confused of what to do when it comes to conversion. First of all, you need to be familiar with the fund fundamental units. You also need to know the derived units. Sometimes a problem will be presented and some of the parameters will be in standard units and some will not be in standard units. That is when you perform this task or conversion. Here are basic tips that I want you to know when doing this conversion. One, you need to know the relationship between the units involved. And then secondly, you need to ask yourself, am I converting from a big to a small unit or small to a big unit? Let's look at this example. Convert 20 meters to millimeters. This is a problem that is presented. Solution. Step one. You need to know the relationship between 20 meters and millimeters. And the answer is 1,000 millimeters is equivalent to one meter. Or one meter is equivalent to 1,000 millimeters. That's the first step. Step two, you now ask yourself, among these two units, which one is big, which one is small? In this case, meter is a bigger unit, this is a smaller unit. And in this case, you are also converting from a big to a small unit. So you simply multiply 20 by 1,000. That is 20 times 1,000. And that gives us 20,000 millimeters. The other way around is if you are asked to convert from a small unit to a big unit, what do you do? Example, convert 20,000 millimeters to meters. Well, in this case, we have already known the relationship. So converting from a small to a big unit, you simply divide 20,000 by 1,000. That is 20,000 divided by 1,000. So three zeros goes with this. And what you are left is 20 divided by 1, which is equal to 20 meters. Let's also look at another example this time we'll look at um, time the si unit or time is seconds so let's look at this task convert 2 hours seconds so what we need to do here is first the relationship between hours and seconds and here is that to one hour is equivalent to 3600 seconds that is the relationship between hours and seconds and here we have two hours. So since we are converting from hours, which is a big, to second, which is a small unit, we simply multiply two hours by this. And we have two times 3,600 
which is equal to 7,200 seconds. The same thing we apply if you are to convert maybe from grams to kilograms or kilogram to grams. You ask yourself, what is the relationship? Am I converting from a big to a small unit? In that case, you multiply. Am I converting from a small to a big unit? You divide by that relationship. Thank you.